Hi everyone, welcome back to my beauty channel. Today we're going to test out some H&M beauty makeup, beauty products, makeup products uh, that we received in the uh, beauty advent calendar of 2024. So I'm going to uh, the university today and do a exam, a writing exam. So we're just going to do this as quick as possible. I have like two hours before I have to go there and I don't want to be late. We received some glitter eyeshadows, glitter eyeliners, um, liquid highlighter, a blush stick and highlight stick, uh, eyebrow gel, a mascara, I think, well, some lip products. And for the rest of the face, I'm just going to use some other makeup. Uh, for the complexion, I'm pretty much going to use She Glam makeup and you can't just put on glitter eyeshadows. So we're going to use the Revolution uh, Maxi Reloaded Palette. We got some beautiful shades in here. So we're going to ex experiment with that. With all of that said, let's begin. So first I want a primer. I'm going to use the She Glam Good Grip Hydrating Primer. Actually, I like this. So I'm just going to take a pump of that. And I take my She Glam eyebrow pencil just to fill in the brows. Nowadays, I usually use a soap bar, uh, but we got a eyebrow gel from uh, H&M, so I want to try it out. And therefore, I'm not using my usual products for the eyebrow. I want the arch and the ends of the brow to be more intense, so I'm using the She Glam Ebony Dip Brow with a flat uh, eyebrow brush. So applying that on the ends. Something like that. I have my favorite brush, the Morphe E8. It's a small buffing brush. I take that and any concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. We want a base for our shadow. When it comes to makeup, I believe the brushes do like more than half of the job. So it's really important to um, buy good brushes and there are some really affordable brushes out there. I re really like the Morphe brushes and also BH Cosmetics brushes. They're really, like, really, really affordable. They're very, very good as well. But if you go more high-end, I uh, really, really like the Sigma brushes. They're amazing. Let's take the Mica palette. can't really decide, but I think we're going to use the gold eyeshadow. So, some warmer neutral shades. I'll take this brush and start with this one. Just to have something on the lid because when you do it's much easier to go forward and decide and plan what to do. I decided I wanted some sharp edges, so I just um, applied some <laughs> bandages. I'm going to apply this shade, the smaller brush here in the on the outer um, portion of the eyelid. And I also take it underneath uh, in the outer end of the lower lash line. And we take a clean blending brush, just blending on the top. Just take some concealer and a flat brush. So because this was a bit messy, I want to hide the messiness. Just take a packing brush and this very, very pink shade and pack that on.
do we want gold or oh. yeah okay we go for the gold let's take that off packing brush should I do no let's do gold just apply that on the top okay it covered all of the pink so that was unnecessary to <laughs> apply pretty much maybe you could have just um, applied some concealer and then the glitter right away And I think I'm going to apply some black eyeliner first. So I just take any of mine. Maybe this La Masca liquid eyeliner. My tip for you, don't apply eyeliner when you don't have the time to correct it. I'm just going to apply this golden eyeliner. Maybe underneath or over the top of the other eyeliner. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if this is going to show up when we have so much glitter. No, barely. Okay, maybe underneath then. Okay, this isn't as good as I hoped. Huh. It doesn't really show up. Uh, it looks, it just looks messy. Maybe we'll use it on a look where we don't have a lot of glitter. So let's just throw on some lashes and then we'll do that complexion. Okay, so I'm using this mascara. It wasn't really the best I've used, uh, to be honest. Uh, now I got it in my eye. What's the clock? Okay. Uh, need to hurry. We don't have a counter stick, so I'm just going to take the Larizzi counter stick in the shade Aloha and just apply that. Sometimes I counter first and then do foundation, and sometimes I do do it reverse. My concealer. Like that, and I take my buffing brush and just blend. And I try to only blend the contour up, not down, because we want to lift the face. And this is <laughs> like really, really difficult for me. I think lips and contour is my like biggest challenge but I get better and better every time it's just makeup guys try to have fun and we take that blush stick and I take it very very high because I feel like that lifts as well and like the apples of the cheek, I take like the last thing when I have as little product as possible at, uh, on the brush. It feels like we all are in like a blush hypnosis right now. Everyone loves blush. Um, it wasn't like that a couple of years ago. It was like you have to be very, very gentle. Really, really like that one. Beautiful. Okay, let's try the highlighting highlighter stick. I mean, I use a lot of powder, so this feels weird. Maybe you should put it on after. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's apply some foundation. 
Um, I'm just pumping it out on my back of my hand. I take some on my blood uh, wet and wild brush or damp wet and wild brush and just give it some coverage and some blending. Uh, we don't really need a lot of product right now because we have a lot of product already and that's what I like uh, when applying concealer and contour first you realize like you don't actually need that and a lot of foundation when you do it in reverse you don't really realize how much product you're applying let's blend it and um, that's like half of a pump and i'm going to apply a little bit more of that blush now powder and it's going to like erase everything it feels like Maybelline Lasting Fix All Day Matte Finish Loose Powder. This is transparent. And I take a lot of it under the eye because I'm going to try that new mascara on the lower lash line and some mascaras transfer, transfer like crazy under the eye and I want to minimize the risk of that. Powder helps, actually. But also you have to keep in mind what kind of um, skin you have. I'm like crazy, crazy oily. So that's also why I use a lot, a lot of powder. Because otherwise it looks like I have like butter on my face. Can you see some of that glitter? Like everywhere. <laughs> But it's okay. I'm going to intense the contour and everything. I'm using my She Glam Contour palette and I'm not going to talk so much about this because this is not H&M products. And I have like a old old blush from H&M so I'm going to apply that. This is really really intense. Um, I think they changed packaging like twice since I bought this. I was like, well, it's like 15 years old or something. I haven't really tried out H&M's uh, makeup so much. I think I bought an eyebrow pencil once and I hated it because it's like just broke every time I used it. Even if I'm just screwed up a bit, it like broke, broke, broke and it took like a week until it was nothing left because it broke so many times. And we don't have a bronzer, so I'm just going to take my, what is this, a Huda Benefit bronzer. Let's try some more of that, where is it, highlighting stick. Okay, now it shows up better. I'm just taking my Revolution highlighter, I think. The Vivid something. This is also very old. I just take it here. We have some reflection. Okay, let's try that F um, mascara on the lower lash line. Oh, a bit terrified because I didn't like this. So we're just going to take a little. Or is it looking better now? Maybe. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. Just going to spray my hair a bit because I have all this baby hair here. Don't like it. Yes, I have a toothbrush. <laughs> okay, let's try this eyebrow gel. Feels good. Let's see how it dries. Actually, it feels like it really, really forms the brow. I like it. Okay, I hope I have it in full size. I have to check and see uh, because I like that. Uh, I'm just going to apply my Essence Matte Lipstick. Like that, just blending. I don't like those sharp lips. Let's take this clear lip gloss. 
it smells like fruit or something. Have I lost my earring? <gasps> oh no. <sighs> what do we think about the products? The lip products, they're fine, they're good. good. Uh, I really, really like the eyebrow gel, the mascara, hmm, I don't know. I like the lower lashes, but it was a bit difficult to apply on the top lashes uh, because it, I feel like it's clumped, you know? Uh, the applicator was so small, it was difficult to maneuver. I love, love, love the glitter eyeshadow. The eyeliner was a bit of a disappointment because it didn't really show up. I wanted, a, you know, a lot of glitter, like bam, sharp. It was like a lot of liquid, um, transparent liquid and just some few uh, flakes. So, a bit of a disappointment. And the um, blush stick, beautiful. The highlighter stick showed up better on, you know, at the end when I applied some powder products underneath. Not good or, or bad. I haven't really tried stick highlighters before, so a bit difficult to have an opinion about that. The lip gloss, beautiful. Not too sticky or, you know, I would have liked um, maybe a powder or something in this calendar. So this is the calendar I bought and I've done a video about. I've opened this, the whole calendar, and that's the product we're using today. Maybe I didn't say that in the beginning. I really need to go now, so thank you for watching. If you want me to test out more of these products or other products, maybe H&M's uh, regular uh, collection or anything, you tell me in the comments down below and I will try to accomplish that or I will try to do that for you. Um, I love creating looks and just experiment and try out new things, so I'm up for it. So just tell me and I I will try to do it and uh, I see you in the next video. Bye!